Hey guys, what's going on? It's Vic here, back with another Madden 23 tutorial. And in today's episode, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can get Madden 24 rosters on the Madden 23 game. Because let's be real, a lot of you do not wanna pay $70 for the new game that is copy and paste every year, whenever you can just buy it for $30 on Black Friday, or even just buy it for $5 whenever May comes around. But anyways, this is how you're going to do it. I'm not gonna waste any time. This works for PlayStation, Xbox, and also PC, I believe. I haven't tested on PC, but but they should have their own community files. Go to the little NFL logo in the right corner of your screen here, then scroll down to share and manage files. Click on that. I'm currently on the Xbox next gen is what I'm doing this on, but then you wanna click on download community files. Each console has their own community files. So Xbox One and Series X are completely different from each other. Then you're going to want to use the bumpers to scroll to the roster over here. And also at the end of this video, video I'm gonna be showing you guys my personal rosters that I make and update myself. But then once you're on roster, make sure the file type does say roster. If it doesn't scroll back to draft class and then scroll back to roster once you're done with that i just need to show that because sometimes it does glitch you also need good wi-fi and to be signed into ea servers if you're not restart your game and then try again then you'll be able to sign in but anyways you want to scroll all the way to the right here to add it if you're on xbox press x if you're on playstation press square it will automatically sort them to the newest dates then you want to read the descriptions on the side this one says 2020 this one says 23 off season updated that it's uh i'm looking see this one's mine frosted vic if you want to dm me on uh xbox you can don't really care uh 15 000 downloads on that this one it says updated signings trades transaction every first round pick added mix of that let's see if there's more draft rounds one through seven this one says draft rounds at one through four complete updated rosters updated depth charts all players number changes this one looks good let's press download file on this one see what we got for this one it says madden 24 on it looks pretty good if you want my rosters really quickly how you quickly search for them is you press search search for gamer tag not keyword then game tag is frosted vic f o f r o s t E D V I K K, just like my YouTube channel name, two K's, not C K, but Frosted Vic. Search that. And then I will also have my updated rosters here, and I'll also have the draft clutch, which isn't relevant anymore, and all time rosters as well, if you want those. But this is what I got for the rosters. But, anyways, you're not done yet. Once you finally download that file, go to load and delete files. Go here, go to roster. Madden 24, that was the file I just downloaded. Mine is labeled as updated rosters. Now let's see if we do have them. This works locally. Do not try it online. It does not work for offline. It, it only works for offline. It does not work for online. Let's see, for instance, the Panthers quarterback. They got Bryce Young there. Let's see if they got Jonathan Mingo. They do have Jonathan Mingo on the team. Patriots, they should have defensive back. Christian Gonzalez, they do. Let's go to the Texans, see some CJ Stroud here. They also got Will Anderson. Where is he at? Left end, left end, Will Anderson. And they also have quarterback CJ Stroud. But also, if you guys are wondering if this works for franchise, it does. This will show up locally in Expedition, but not to head to head, unless you're playing with your friends. And I think they both have the same file. I've never tried it though. Don't quote me on that. So I'm going to go into franchise and see if this works as well. Go to create a new league use active roster offline do not use the online rosters do not use those do not use the preseason roster use offline active roster that is the key one that you need to use it will import the roster and then you should be pretty good from there let's use the steelers sure the steelers got joey porter and broderick jones so i'm going to go in league settings and i'm actually just going to turn off tips because they're they just annoy me so we're going to go in here see what we got for the team and it will show you of course they will not have development traits because you have to do create a player and you cannot change development traits until you're in the roster so for instance they got broderick jones here and if you want to change the development you can go hey i think broderick jones is more of a superstar player so you simply scroll over and then give them superstar and then also some of their contracts are only three years because you can't change them they would be a five-year deal since he's a first round pick so now you have him there defensively you're going to have joey porter jr here you can change him as well but anyways guys apart from that let me know which uh, tutorial you want me to do next. That will be all for now. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you guys all in the next one.